Hello everyone, Jeff from RespawnStudios.com and EasyXbox360Achievements.com here with a 3D Ultra Mini Golf Adventures Achievement Guide. <laughs> Hell yes, we're going to play this. Um, it's an Xbox Live Arcade game. I think it's available now for 400 points and it's so much fun. It's so much better than most arcade games. But anyway, um, we're going to be working toward the Mini Golf Adventure Achievement, which is to get 12 under par on each course. Um, we're going to be getting the Traveler Explorer, or the Master Traveler over here, get four under par on that course. Because this guide will only be for one of the courses. But hopefully you'll get a hang of the game and you'll be able to do the other one. And then those two right there, the Season Swinger and the one next to it, are just for playing certain holes. So if you just simply play the two courses, you'll get those achievements. And we're also going to pick up the achievement for getting six holes in one. I think I actually get eight hole-in-ones on these 18 holes. So I'll just give you my tips because I have played the hell out of this game and I have all the achievements. All right, so the first hole is very simple. I'm doing the uh, hold and release style of swing. So I just hold, go a little past the dark green into the light green, and it'll go in. All right, this hole, to get the hole-in-one, you have to shoot it into the saloon. Again, you want to be a little past green, maybe up to like half quarter inch into the light green. And be wary of the scorpion because he does sometimes walk in front of that area and can block it. So there we go. We already have two holes in one. Now here on the graveyard, the third hole, just aim a tiny bit to the left of where it has you default aiming. And then just hit it in the beginning of red. And it should perfectly bounce right in. And I also got the free shot. So technically I had zero on the hole. <laughs> but it still counts as a hole in one. Alright, this fourth hole. To get the hole in one, you have to go on the side. So aim right there. I don't really know how to describe it. <laughs> um, I've just gotten used to that spot. So maybe if you just rewind that part of the video and watch where I aim. But you're going to want to bounce and come into the side. Otherwise, you'll probably get like two or three, which isn't bad on this hole. You'll probably still get to 12 under. All right, for this hole, you want to aim a little bit to the right of that uh, explosive barrel in the sand because you want to hit it really hard and have it go in, go in the hut. Here, unfortunately, I aimed a little bit too much to the right. So I ended up off track and there... <laughs> Even though I'm not really in the sand, it counted my balls being still stuck in the sand, so I got screwed over a little bit there. But here we go. I think I end up uh, minus 13 overall, 13 under par overall. This is my one really bad hole. I think I get a double bogey here. But we're still fine. And the AI that is like apparently playing this tournament as well always suck. So you're pretty much going to win anyway. And that doesn't really relate to the achievements. <laughs> Just a little fun fact. All right, here I always aim a little bit to the right and then hit it in red. And sometimes it just seems to bounce differently. If you get that power up the vacuum hole and you get up the hill, it'll pretty much suck your ball in. Otherwise, um, the automatic hole in one is to get it on that right part of the hill, have it go in, and it comes down through the water tower chute and goes in. So there, I got it on my second shot. All right, we're into the carnival holes with the very catchy music. <laughs> All right, this hole drives me crazy. I almost always hit one, if not two, of the ducks. <laughs> so my advice is to not do anything I do. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's about timing, and I don't know. I just always seem to hit at least one duck. But there, my second shot almost went in, but fortunately I had to shoot a third shot. All right, for this one, to get the hole in one, you want to aim in the top right one of this sort of Mickey Mouse head. <laughs> the center is bad and the top left is actually bad so you want to aim for that top right one and just hit it there in the sort of the top half of the light green and same thing with this hole you want to hit it in light green or yellow if you hit it in the top of yellow or red it'll be too hard and it'll hit that uh, target and still go out of bounds 
So if you hit any part of the target, it will actually be a hole in one. So there we go, another hole in one. Alright, for this one, it's kind of strange. Uh, the pattern here seemed to be stuck, <laughs> where it would go to the right arrow and then to the flag. So you want to start to power up your shot as it's in the right arrow and then release, and it should be in the flag as it was there. And then it'll end up here. Otherwise, it'll go down that su one of the side sets of stairs, either on the left or right, and you'll probably take another two or three shots to get in. But again, try and hit it in in some area of light green so it gets there in time to make it in when it goes to the flag icon. All right, for this, my friend Collateral Respawn Kayak suggests that you hit it a little bit to the left of the hole. And as the pirate ship's going over, it kind of forces your ball in. I tried to just hit, uh, hit the ball directly at it and have the ship force it into that little hole where it then shoots out of the cannon into the hole, but it didn't work. But unfortunately, it just bounced down. So I make the second shot, which you see was still a good result. All right, for bumper cars, I never, ever, ever suggest you hit it into the bumper cars. I always go around to the side and usually the right side just because that's where I'm used to aiming. And the more you aim it up against the wall, the more it's going to travel down. So don't hit it too hard because it does go pretty fast along that ramp on the side because there's a slight angle there. Sometimes you'll get a hole in one, sometimes it'll stop a little short or go a little far, but then you could just knock in the second shot, which is still a birdie, so you get one more under par. Okay, now we're into the first set of space holes. Alright, this hole I also kind of messed up quite a bit. Um, you're going to want to, with your first shot, first shot just uh, get the spring up power. And then you're going to need that. For your second shot, you could then aim directly over here to the left, but I felt I was a little too close to the wall. Um, to use the power-up, you hit B. So when you're hitting your shot, then you could hit B. I probably should have hit B to jump there, and I didn't because I thought it was going to bounce around. But unfortunately, it bounced back. <laughs> so now I'm going to use the spring power-up. But it just jumped into the middle. Oh, this is just bad. So then I try and just hit it into this space capsule, which then shoots it over to toward the hole. It doesn't really go in, but it gets it close. And it didn't even work. <laughs> so now I'm just going to use the jump power up. And I get a pretty good shot for a bogey, though. So add one shot to my score instead of it going down. Alright, for Laserific, I try and hit it at the top of dark green to get it stopped right there in that open area. So my second shot, I could just hit it in. Unfortunately, I hit it a little too hard, and these ramps picked it up and brought it down here into the corner. I don't know why I left my second shot aiming where it told me to. Um, when you're going uphill, you want to aim a little bit generally to the left of the hole, or to the right, because it'll then... Um, I'd say to the left because then it'll, uh, as it goes up the hill it changes a little bit and it then should be on target to go in okay for this the pinball hole it has a lot to do with luck and how the ball is going to bounce around so you can control the flippers with B but sometimes as is the case with this one it doesn't even get close enough for me to hit it <laughs> with the bumpers I mean I probably could have there but I was hoping it would get closer. Um, the thing you're going to want to do if it gets in the flipper range is to knock it up and have it go in the yellow or blue um, spaces up there. One gives you a free shot, and the other one, I believe it's the uh, yellow one, gives you the hole in one and shoots you out the other cannon. Otherwise, um, it's just going to put you into that one, and you're going to be down here near the hole, but not in the hole. And then you're just going to want to hit it at the top of dark green. Alright, and now we're on to the last set of three holes. These are the strangest holes by far. This is probably the most frustrating hole in general to me. Um, it is a very, it's just a planet and the ball orbits. So it goes at very strange speeds. It's weird. If you hit it at the edge of dark green, sometimes it like gets to the hole. Sometimes it like barely moves depending on... 
if you're shooting to the left, right, or straight. So my advice is generally play it safe and don't hit it too hard because the uh, pull usually pulls the ball. There, I was just unfortunate it didn't go in, so I had to take a fourth shot. But the par is four, so they're pretty nice that way. All right, now the last two holes. Here you're going to want to hit it in red bar, but ideally not the full red bar because often it'll do that, bounce right over. If you hit it in a little less, usually it bounces back and forth in those two areas around the hole and either goes right in or ends up like a foot or an inch away from the hole. But here it went around, so I had to use another shot to get close. So unfortunately, I dropped another shot to go back to 11 under, but here I'm going to get a hole in one. So I'm, I'm going to go two under to finish at minus 11. And you just want to aim exactly where it has you aim off the start and then hit it in red bar. <laughs> and it'll bounce off the wall and go right up there into the rocket. And that'll do it. Um, tournaments take place over two days, but if you do that, you would end up at minus 26 if you repeat the same shots, so <laughs> you'll be well on your way. I hope those tips helped, and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see guides for the other course or any other achievements, and thank you for watching.